I hate these small magnets. I, I do want to make one announcement to this video. I did add a PayPal a Ryobi a tool fund link to my main page of the channel. If you want to donate to the channel just to uh, just so I can get tools for the channel to present to you guys, you know, unbox tests, yada, 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 a dollar goes a long way. So I'd appreciate that just so I can keep this channel more interesting and going and make it better than ever. So today what we're, we are going to do is we are going to have a drill bit war. So I went to Home Depot and I got a couple of drill bit uh, packets. Uh, the Makita has two gold. The DeWalt has two of theirs. Uh, Ryobi has three and a, ma a little the little magnet. And Milwaukee has four. Now we're going to do two tests. The first one is going to be with the drill. Uh, we're going to have it on speed two. We're going to just grind the heck out of the screw for about 20 seconds and then see which drill bit looks better. Then the second test, we're, we are going to use the impact and completely destroy the, uh, the bit. Now for the second test is going to be judged on which, uh, drill, which drill bit smokes the, the most first. So we're not going to waste too much time. Let's just get to it. Got two for Makita, two for DeWalt. Now DeWalt and Milwaukee are awesome for putting their names on it. I wish Ryobi would do, would do the same. It would be awesome if Ryobi put their names on, on their necks. We have two for Ryobi. Now I get an extra, now I get an extra magnet and an extra bit. Awesome. All right, all we need is two, and two for Milwaukee. Two for Milwaukee. And like I said, Milwaukee writes their names on theirs as well. All right, so two, four, six, and eight. We are ready. All right, so I do not know what types of screws these are, but these are uh, tough screws. I do not know if they're masonry screws. I, I honestly, I do not know. So... I threw the box away along like I threw the box away last year, so I do not know what the names of these are. You know what? We'll use Makita first. So let's drive this in. Start the timer. All right. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. We're gonna do fifteen seconds instead of twenty. All right, so we are gonna see the results later. Let that drop. All right, so three. Oh wait. Drive that in. All right, so three. We're gonna do 50, uh, fifteen seconds. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> That was Ryobi. All right, so DeWalt is next. So DeWalt is happening now. That was that was Ryobi. All right, so drive it in. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> So DeWalt is done. Last but not least is Milwaukee. So let's drive it in. It's a reset. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> Alrighty, 
that's the results of that. We're going to look at these later. We're going to provide the second test. That's the first test. Now it's time for the second test. First one is going to be Makita. Let's actually slide this forward a little bit. All right, so we're going to drive this one in. All right, so three, two, one. We'll do 12 seconds. We will do 12 seconds for this test. Test number two. So next is Ryobi. All right, so that's in. All right, so reset this. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> So I'm not even going to look. We'll look at the results later. DeWalt is next. Put DeWalt in. Drive this in. That's actually, this is actually not, it's not loud either. It's almost like a, it has some, uh, like a sound dampener in there as well. There we go. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> Done. All right, so the test results are in for that one. Milwaukee. All right, you can see the timer, perfect. All right, so that's that's in. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> Done. Wow, I'm surprised about that. Uh, so as you can see, the Makita bit is a little destroyed at the tip, but it has enough teeth it has enough teeth right here to uh, just uh, keep on it being used so it will wear out very quickly because of the damage that's already done but it's still a usable bit now this is test remember guys this is test number one all right so test number one on the Ryobi as you can see the Ryobi bit is completely destroyed it is completely destroyed. Now this is not a usable bit. You might as well throw this away. And it's garbage. So in this test, Ryobi is gone. All right, let's go to Milwaukee. So as you can see the, on the Milwaukee bit, it is still, still usable. It is still usable. And it is just... Uh, and it's just chipped right here at the at the tip. So it's it's been destroyed a little bit, but it still has enough life to keep going. As you can see, the DeWalt right here has some damage over in the tip area again. Like right here. Right there. It's like the tip is caved in a little bit. So based on this information, first place has to go to... First place go. First place goes to uh, Makita. Second place goes to Dewalt. Third place goes to Milwaukee, and last place goes to Ryobi. Dewalt, Milwaukee to Ryobi. So I'm gonna uh, upload that right. I'll uh, put that picture in right now. Yeah, these drill bits. None of them are usable. 
All these bits are, are destroyed. The determination for this test is the is the time it takes to smoke. Uh, for it to start smoking and then it, uh, when it gets to a really thick cloud by the bit. I'd say the best drill bit is I'm going to have to say DeWalt because, you know, it's not like you spend $20 for one bit. You know, you instead they give you, you know, so instead for 20 bucks they give you a lot. Guess what? If this drill bit dies, I have like four others, you know, in that specific, uh, for this specific one. Then you have a ton of more. So it... When it comes to drill bits, it does not matter. All every single drill bit sucks from every company, unless if you make a uh, a drill bit that is guaranteed never to shred on you for in any situation whatsoever. Every drill bit's gonna suck. That's why uh, for the long screws they create a better like a uh, eight star head or a different design other than Phillips, a better locking system in the screw is better than a Phillips or flathead because all it takes is for it to slip. If you have a, uh, a drill bit and a design to where it doesn't slip, you're, you're, the odds of you wearing it out are extremely slim other than a Phillips and a flathead. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.